Hi again, and thanks for coming back. Now that we have briefly covered a little background behind our development of new HTTPS inspection capabilities, I'm pleased to have Roy from our technical marketing team who's going to run the demonstrations for us. Thanks for joining us. Hi, I'm excited to talk about our new HTTPS inspection features. I will guide you through the HTTPS setup and configuration screens. Thanks, Roy. We'll start with how HTTPS traffic inspection is configured in the system, especially our new and unique learning mode. We'll also cover the policy setting associated with activating HTTPS inspection and then tackle the connectivity related challenges with some new options and choices. Let's start with the first time configuration of HTTPS inspections. To configure HTTPS inspection, we will connect to Smart One dashboard and open the relevant firewall object. Before continuing, make sure to enable the relevant blades that this feature will run on. Next, go to the top left section of the HTTPS inspection. A window will open with three steps that will configure the operation mode of your HTTPS inspection. In the first step, we need to choose which certificate we want to use. An SSL certificate provides important information for verifying the owner of a website and encrypting web traffic with SSL, TLS, including the public key, the issuer of the certificate, and the associated subdomains, all of which are needed to facilitate the gateway's decryption, inspection, and re-encryption process. The outbound certificate is the default certificate. Note that in order to achieve the highest level of security with maximum flexibility, the outbound and inbound certificates should be different. Also, setting and distributing the outbound certificate is critical for operating an HTTPS inspection mode, as you cannot proceed and complete the setup without it. Inbound traffic has no bearing on the configuration process of HTTPS inspection and is relevant only at the stage of policy setting, which will be covered in the next episode. The outbound certificate can be generated locally or by a third-party certificate provider. The second step will take us through exporting the certificate so we can distribute it to all relevant machines inside our organization. In the last step, we will enable the most important new RET2 enhancement for enabling full HTTPS inspection. You see that you have a choice between two modes, full inspection, which means that all the encrypted traffic will be analyzed for threat, and second option, the learning mode. But before we go the full nine yards, you may want to take some gradual steps in the direction of full HTTPS inspection and watch your network as it operates in this mode. So let's start with exploring the learning mode and how it can help. Checkpoint's learning mode gives you an automatic way to predict the potential performance impact on your firewall when securing a certain percentage of your total encrypted traffic before enabling full inspection. Choosing this option will trigger the gradual deployment of HTTPS inspection. It will start with a small percentage of your network traffic and increase smoothly until the system has enough information to predict the performance impact of fully securing 100% of, of your organization's encrypted traffic. Note, this process happens over a two-week period to develop an accurate and reliable understanding of your network traffic and behavior. Once you have the key data points you need from the learning mode, you can determine the right balance for your organization, including scaling up your firewall compute capacity appropriately. If you have already sized your system and know its operational capacity and are ready to turn on full HTTPS inspection, go ahead and follow these instructions. You see, that you have a choice between two modes. Full inspection, which means that all the encrypted traffic will be analyzed for threat, and second option, the learning mode. Turning on full inspection mode is usually done if you sized your system and know its operational capacity. Press the edit button to finish setting all related options. The three settings you see now in the window, the edit button open, are relevant only to this gateway and will override the global network settings accordingly. 
The first two options relate to the server and client sides and are divided into two sections. Each allow us to change the configuration per firewall or to leave it at the default, which is using the global settings. The third settings, bypass under load, is disabled by default and can be enabled here as well. These new options have been added to optimize our gateway's responses and place more choices in your hands so you can meet any challenge the organizational IP traffic may raise. We will talk about all these options later in the series. Now that we have configured HTTPS inspection to fit our needs, we need to make sure to install the policy so it will be executed as configured. This is simple and now all HTTPS traffic will be inspected and cleared. Thank you for watching this episode of how to start your HTTPS inspection configuration. In the next episode, we will talk about policy setting while operating the HTTPS inspection feature. So stay tuned and see you soon.